Hi, welcome to Elonics. In this episode, we'll see how to make a touch on touch off switch using TripleFi Timer IC. You will need to touch one pair of contacts to turn on the output and the other pair to turn off the output. We'll also learn how this circuit works. Refer to the description below for a link to the circuit diagram, components required or any other information. I'll be using this row as positive rail and this as negative rail. Place TripleFi Timer IC on the breadboard with its notch facing up and the pinouts are as shown. Now place touch contacts at pins 8, 6, 1 and 2. You can use any connecting wire and you should be careful that you don't connect any two touch wires in the same row. Connect pin 4 of the IC to positive rail and pin 1 to negative rail. Connect the reset pin which is at pin 4 to pin 8. Now place an LED on the breadboard. Connect its anode to the output of triple fat timer IC which is at pin 3 and connect its cathode to negative rail via a 270 ohm resistor. The value of this resistor depends on the voltage of power supply you use and the color of LED you are using. This table gives you the corresponding value. Now connect the power supply and the circuit is now ready. Touch one pair of probes to turn on the LED and the other to turn it off. At this stage, although this circuit works, it's a bit unstable because the pins 2 and 6 detect voltages and they are left open-ended. Even tiny electrostatic charges might affect this circuit. So we'll connect a 10 megaohm resistor from pin 6 to pin 1. Indirectly we're connecting it to negative rail and another 10 megaohm resistor between pins 2 and 4. Indirectly we're connecting it to positive rail. So now the circuit will be more stable and doesn't fluctuate. In your case, if the circuit still fluctuates, you can try using a resistor less than 10 megaohms, like maybe 4.7 megaohms. You can also add another LED with its cathode connected to the output of triplify timer IC. So both these LEDs toggle each time you touch the other pair of touch contacts. Adding a relay is also possible and it's a more practical way of using the circuit. Let's now try to understand how this circuit works. The Triplify Timer IC is designed such that whenever pin 2 detects a voltage less than one third of the supply voltage, it turns on the output. So when I touch both these contacts, the voltage at pin 2 will be near to 0 volts and because it's less than one third of supply voltage, the output turns on. Turning on means that the voltage at the output pin will be equal to supply voltage and so this LED turns on. For the other LED, at both its terminals, the voltage is the same, so it doesn't glow. Similarly, if pin 6 detects a voltage greater than 2 thirds of the supply voltage, the output turns off. So when I touch both these contacts, the voltage at pin 6 will be nearer to supply voltage, that is 9 volts, and because it's more than 2 thirds of supply voltage, the output turns off. Turning off means that the voltage at the output will be equal to 0 volts and so the LED turns on. For the other LED, at both its terminals, the voltage will be at 0 volts so it doesn't glow. And if both pin 2 and pin 6 are left open-ended, they remain very sensitive to tiny electrostatic charges and so the circuit might get triggered unnecessarily. To prevent this, we added a 10 megaohm resistor between pin 6 and negative rail and pin 2 and positive rail. This increases stability as pin 2 and pin 6 remain at positive and negative voltages respectively during ideal time. And because we used a very high value resistor, its influence is negligible whenever we touch the contacts. Because the resistance at our finger is much lesser than 10 megaohms. In the next video, we'll use these principles along with using feedback from the output to make a touch alarm circuit where a buzzer turns on whenever the touch wire gets in contact with any object with negative charge. Thanks for watching, do subscribe and have fun.